China is home to about 20 billion chickens, which makes it the country with the biggest poultry population. A huge majority of these birds are raised on commercial farms, where they provide the food industry with millions of eggs and pounds of meat annually. The Chinese poultry business is cutting edge in terms of efficiency and employs modern technologies to enhance their overall output. So, how do they do it? Let's find out. China has over 40,000 poultry farms that supply eggs and meat for both local and international markets. Many changes have been made to chicken farming in China during the early 2000s. From humble beginnings in people's backyards, the business has grown to include massive, high-tech commercial farms. The rising popularity of chicken as a meat source, advances in technology, and regulatory changes have all contributed to this shift. Chinese chicken producers now use some of the most cutting-edge agricultural techniques available. Automation of feeding and watering systems, temperature-controlled barns, and egg incubators are all part of this advancement. China's chicken farms have benefited from these technological advancements, which have increased both output and efficiency. Chicken farms that raise birds for meat tend to be greater in size, whereas those that raise chickens for eggs tend to be smaller. The government of China has implemented regulations meant to boost the country's rapidly expanding poultry sector. For instance, it has subsidized farmers and developed agricultural infrastructure. The poultry business has risen to become a major contributor to China's GDP owing to these measures. And now, it generates tens of billions of dollars in annual revenue and employs millions of people. In these poultry farms, chickens are raised in a safe, regulated environment on large-scale farms with the help of modern technology. The process of raising chickens for meat may now proceed with more efficiency and less waste on the part of the farmers. Open pens and closed houses are the two primary forms of housing used on chicken farms in China. While open pen systems may be set up and maintained for less money, the environment they provide for the birds is poor. As compared to these open farms, closed homes provide a more regulated atmosphere, but they are more costly to create and harder to maintain. Depending on the scale of the farm and the desired output, several types of feed are used in chicken farms in China. Larger farms could import feed components, while smaller farms often utilize locally produced grains. This means that modern chicken farming is more efficient and productive than ever. But is the poultry industry going to change forever? In the United States, chicken is currently the most popular meat and will remain the same for some time. According to the National Chicken Council, the average American consumed almost 91.1 pounds of chicken last year. This growth is mostly owed to the fact that today's birds are raised using methods that result in greater productivity and efficiency. Modern chickens, for instance, reach sexual maturity at a far younger age than their ancestors did, all thanks to improvements in diet and genetics. A 5-pound bird now matures in around 5 weeks, down from almost 7. Not only does this help farmers save time, but it also helps them save money by reducing the quantity of feed they need to buy. One of the greatest technological advancements in the poultry farming industry is the current way of growing chickens. To avoid the spread of disease, today's birds are kept in sterile, predator-free environments that adhere to stringent standards. Because of developments in technology, the price of chicken meat is dropping. Improvements in transport and packaging have lowered the cost of moving chicken across the nation. All industries have benefited from technological advances that have increased output, boosted product quality, or eliminated obstacles to smooth logistics. Similarly, the chicken business is not an exception. Large poultry enterprises are increasingly turning to technology to help them satisfy the rising demand for eggs and meat. Research efforts have also focused on tracking and enhancing the bird's stress levels, emotional states, and mental approaches to the environment they're kept in, which will help to boost productivity levels. Technology has changed the landscape of chicken farming in many ways, like the air quality monitors. The quality and quantity of eggs and meat produced by poultry 
are directly related to the well-being and productivity of the birds. Chicken farms have been outfitted with high-tech air filters and air quality monitors to maintain a constant atmosphere. Ammonia and carbon dioxide, for instance, are both toxic to chickens and can reduce their egg production. These smart monitors detect the current air quality on the farm and provide real-time data that may be used to schedule routine maintenance. This means that the atmosphere and the output of the farm are both a benefit. Next, for chickens to lay eggs, their coops need to be warm and humid. The birds need to feel comfortable and at home in their nesting boxes. But when temperatures are low, this task becomes more challenging. Because of this, many chicken farms use fluid LED lights to generate heat and humidity. Birds can warm up and produce more eggs with the assistance of these lights. They also ensure that the chicken coop and its surrounding areas are well lit so that the farmer can keep an eye on everything at all times. But what about poultry diseases? Due to the spread of various diseases, it is becoming more important to automate the chicken farming process. In the same way that conveyor belts bring food to the cafeteria, automated chain feeders provide chicken feed to the coop. As a result, no one will need to go inside the coop and physically disperse chicken feed, which is a very innovative step when it comes to poultry because a majority of the diseases are airborne and can spread very quickly. But that alone is not enough. A poultry farmer must constantly check on their flock, tending to their needs in terms of food, water, sanitation, nesting, and egg collection. Nowadays, the need for human monitoring is being reduced thanks to advances in video surveillance technologies. Because of this, historically labor-intensive industry of chicken farming is relieved of some of the pressure to find and retain enough human workers. Farmers can use video surveillance to keep tabs on their chickens without having to physically be there. But the most important advancement that modern tech has done at these poultry farming is genetics. Chickens can't produce eggs unless they have the right, favorable conditions, which mainly include humidity and temperature. Egg production in poultry farms might suffer when winter hits. But changing the feathering gene in chickens is the biotech answer to fluctuating yearly output. The capacity of chickens to keep themselves warm can be greatly enhanced by introducing a single gene that enhances their feathering. Naked neck poultry in nations with chilly weather for most of the year benefit the most from this technique. Modern chicken farming and technology have come a long way in recent years. The industry has made great strides in improving the welfare of chickens and the quality of chicken meat. However, there are still areas where improvements can be made. For example, more research is needed to develop non-antibiotic growth promoters to reduce the use of antibiotics in chickens. And we also need to continue to work on reducing the impact of chicken farming on the environment. The Chinese and American chicken breeding industry is currently among the most cutting edge in the world. The present broiler or meat chicken is the result of extensive dietary study and application or, in other words, better breeding stock, smart management, and scientific disease control, all of which have contributed to its consistently excellent quality production at ever lower prices. It used to take a broiler chick four months to mature to a marketable weight of five pounds, but today's technology has shortened that time to an average of five weeks. Also, the average yearly egg output per hen has tripled since 1910. That is really amazing and no doubt we will see even more advances in future poultry farms very shortly.